Hi, I'm Matt Damsel. I'm the writer, director, editor, and I play Grant. I'm Jacob Ferriant. I am the assistant director, director of photography, and I play Nick. I'm Todd Calvin DePew. I play Paul and Paul the Ashbor. Paul the Ashbor at its core is a family drama. Um, it has a few elements of sci-fi, as you'll come to see. It's all about this trio of siblings supporting each other through financial hardship and mental illness. And when things go bad, how much is it really worth to try to salvage what little you have? You know, you find out about Paul, about Grant, and even about Jack, their older sister. As you can see in the story, Grant isn't as appreciative of Jackie as Paul is of what she had done with them while they were growing up together. Grant is, he's kind of a condescending brother. Grant just kind of sees the world through his own eyes. And when Jackie comes to him with her mental issues, her OCD, Grant just thinks it's something she could just turn off like a switch and that that's not how it works. And Paul has those levels and those layers of an actual person and he's vulnerable but he's strong but he's confused and he's an emotional and he's neurotic um, but he's really sweet you know all those things and everyone has that. Honestly it's a love letter to the uh, whole idea of mental illness in a movie it paints a really realistic picture of it I like how Jackie doesn't leave the house I like how she has her quirks and it's portrayed accurately. Like sometimes people think that stuff wouldn't come off great on camera, but personally I think it fits really well. After a turn of events, someone makes a poor decision and it affects the others. Hey man, but no matter what, do not mention this to Jackie. Okay? No, I know, I know, I know. She does not need any more anxiety triggers. Barrier in Pictures is um, a collaboration between uh, myself, uh, Matt Damsel, and Jacob Ferriance. And Bare Minimum Pictures um, is a production company who guarantees maximum quality for the, the budget, the low budget, or even the no budget that we have. And I think you're always going to get a top-notch product, probably what looks like has a higher budget than it does. Literally, beyond Bare Minimum Pictures, it's literal. It's literally, we took our equipment. This film was shot with five pieces of equipment. I'm not kidding. I guess to fully appreciate the story, you would have to know what we all went through to make it. The fact that Mr. Damsel made the film in general is like a really big idea. Like if you want to talk about like risks or talk about the what do I think of the film, the fact we made it. We were in the swampland, chopping away at trees, and um, it was kind of an out-of-body experience. Mysterious, heartfelt, and dramatic. Follow the Ash Bore is just the tip of the iceberg for bare minimum pictures. Uh, there's so much more to come, and it's going to be something to really be known.